That's the rest. That was oh. Fuck. I was gonna tell you about that thing. I don't know why it's up. Moments later. Ah, oh, that's the rest. That was, oh. Fuck. I was gonna tell you about that thing. I don't know why it's up. restaurante aquí está abierto está cerrado okay well let's move on so as you just saw two bad things happened first of all a whole water spilled second of all the restaurant we were actually going to is closed. So we almost made it to Puerto Cito now. Five more minutes. If you run out of gas here, we checked it's like two and a half hours until the next gas station. So that can be risky. Okay, we finally made it to Puerto Citos and tried to find a campsite called Campo Octavio that we found on Google Maps. And to be completely honest, the entire drive we already had a funny feeling about coming to this town because everything looks so closed and abandoned. Let's see if anyone's gonna be there to charge us. Oh, uh, there for sure be somebody there, but... And how much it's gonna be at the... just to stand at the beach. <laughs> we'll see how much it is, I mean... We can either stay here or we can keep driving for another two hours to the next destination. Uh, but I think it'd be very interesting to kind of stay here and, and check out the little town. I feel like this town is like living like a hundred years back, you know? Yeah. They don't have electricity, they don't have water, they don't have anything. If you haven't seen our campsite tour in San Felipe, we got very very spoiled there and as this would be the first remote campsite we stay at, we expected this place to be super cheap but they are charging 500 pesos which are 25 euros only to park your motorhome on the beach overnight. I mean as you can see here it looks very rustic and far away from anything and anyone else but somehow this didn't satisfy us yet so we left the beach and started driving around town for a little bit. Thank you. 
And then we found another place that looked like a campground. So we thought we'd just stop and ask how much they charge. Hola. Hola. Tienen campamento? ¿Cuánto cobran? These people wanted to charge us 600 pesos, which are 30 euros. And as we mentioned earlier, there's no electricity and no running water here. So is it worth that? Okay, this one or the other one? 600 lo menos se cobran. 600 lo menos se cobran. Sí, es la así que lo que no. Ah, lo que les Okay. Bueno, pues hubo guardiado, ¿no? Bueno, pues gracias. Vamos a ir al otro, gracias. Gracias. Yeah, she seemed like she was trying to make some money. And now she's... Now she's not making anything. Yeah. We eventually decided to leave Puerto Citos and keep driving until we find another spot that we like better. But first we need to buy some groceries. This is supposed to be the grocery store. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Abierto? Oh yeah. It's open. <laughs> Look where we are. I feel like... I feel like this is not real. Yeah, it looks like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. We're trying to find the last, I don't know, food in the planet. Se puede llegar a puertecitos por aquí también? O solamente por la entrada This is the little store. <laughs> oh, they even have t shirts. They have merch. <laughs> Merchandise. Puertecito. So we just went into the grocery store. It's very interesting uh, little town. This grocery store is kind of on top of the mountain by the road. And then apparently you have to go down the mountain to the little Bahia. Um, so our cashier apparently comes from Mexico City. She comes in a group of eight people. They come here to do some um, clam, like fishing, mm -hmm. clam opening or something. Uh, they call it almeja voladora, I think she called it. Uh, and they get paid 30 pesos per kilo, I think, of, of stuff that they work. So she comes here every year to uh, work this, but because of the hurricane, all that, all those jobs disappeared. So apparently they all, everybody's like jobless and she's just trying to raise enough money to, uh, to go back to Mexico City. So on the way here, we kind of saw there was no electricity lines. Uh, so I asked her where they get their electricity from and she said, everybody here has either solar if they have money or generators if they have money as well. So they have, she told me her generator was out in the front there. Oh. So basically everything they have inside, all the fridges and every, I mean, we walked in there and it was very hot. And then the two ladies in there were like sweating uh, so they obviously don't turn on any ACs or any of that stuff and it's very warm here uh, and all the refrigerators are powered off the generator and she said most people here don't have money so most people here don't even have electricity. Paloma. Uh, I wish it was a Paloma. La Poma. 
Someone's gonna open or what? Our wallet's gonna happen right now. Hay okay. restaurante. Hoy se está cerrado, mañana abren. Mañana abren. Y el camping, que show. Abierto, Simón. Okay, the restaurant is closed. They open tomorrow. But they open tomorrow. They have wiped for 30 minutes, 20 bucks. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. They seem like they have a cool little setup here. I mean, very simple, but still. Yeah, it looks very nice. They have camping, they have this little access door here. Which is kind of funny. Yeah. Ah, queremos hacer acampar anoche. Acampar se cobran 150 pesos por persona. Okay, pero con el morro, ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. So it's 150 per person per night, so we're paying 300. So we. When I just, we're even gonna save some money. Oh wow. It's been a very long day. I think we'll end this video here and take you along our stay here at La Poma in our next video. So see you next week and take care. Bye bye.